Well, welcome back. The floor has been done for a few days and now I'm ripping other stuff apart. We've got the seat cushions off. We're going to be painting the walls. The uh, table brackets off. I'm going to be constructing a new table. I got a table that was thrown out in the garbage with a different piece of wood that I want to cut to a little bit bigger size. So we're going to be working on that. But before that, we'll get this painted. So we got stuff masked off. We're using a low luster paint there's like the sample I had custom match at the paint store so we got a quart of that and hopefully that will be enough to uh, do what I need to do in here and if there's more left over we got some uh, spots on the wall back there we want to do too and a couple of other little areas to touch up so let's start painting we're just brushing this stuff on here. The metal has a weird texture on it. Everything was just wiped down with wax and grease remover. And like I said, this is an alkyde oil-based paint. It's gonna be low luster. And uh, hopefully it'll cover pretty well. And so far it is. Probably get away with one coat. If I have to touch up a second coat, I will, but it's covering pretty well. Keep brushing away. That's one coat and it covered really well and I barely used any paint. I should have got a pint. But we'll have more for touch-ups and for painting other things. Uh, the walls are all painted and dry. We put our seat cushions back on and now we're going to address our uh, table. This was the one I originally made uh, last summer. And it was two pieces of wood that were of varying thickness that I had to put together. And I uh, wasn't particularly happy with it at the time, but it was what I had lying around. So I got bigger brackets that I acquired for free. My sister's office was moving and I helped her clean out a bunch of junk. So I got new stuff and I even got a table that I'm going to use also. So I believe it was from Ikea. It's like a butcher block style wood, and we're going to uh, cut that up and make our new uh, bigger table. Bigger, longer brackets. I welded on little plates with holes in them already, and that's what they're going to screw through to hold the tabletop on. Here's the old table sitting upside down. What I want to eliminate is this gap right here, too, so the new table will go closer to the wall. Probably cut off right around that spot right there. So we'll have to cut a little notch out of the wood and figure out how much bigger we want. We don't want it to extend out probably out to like here more and then we'll either round it off a little bit uh, or we'll see how uh, well the wood cuts. And here's our trash find, Ikea. Jokomok. I know I like the bottom better than the top. Let's see if we uh, take the brackets off of here where the holes end up. Hey, we split our IKEA table in half with the jigsaw. We round it off the corners, and I have my little notch cut in over here so the edges will be a little closer to the uh, wall of the bus. So we're going to give it all uh, sanding along the cut edges and then I'm going to sand the whole thing down too to kind of lighten this uh, color up a little bit. Clean it up and then re-varnish uh, the whole thing. All sanded and a coat of water-based gloss varnish on here. I'm going to let it dry, sand it and do it again. My daughter painted some designs on our table here, and now we're going over it with some varnish, water-based. Well, the finished product all installed. My daughter, the artist, knocked it out of the park again with all these little things. Sea creatures, as she would call them. Came out fantastic. This is what I originally should have built, but hey, it takes a little time to get things just the way you like. We did a little more painting in the back, painted the wall back there, 
little piece down on the bottom over there. And then we even did a few little things I'll show you in a second. Had some time to finally make panel for the rear uh, door. My daughter lettered it up so we could promote our YouTube and Instagram. And we even got a little magnetic sign here we got to put on. I break for margaritas. I do, and then I don't drive afterwards. Thanks for watching. Breaking in the table with my favorite meal, McDonald's at the beach. Bring my own dining room here.